good morning guys welcome to today's video it's thursday there's riding lessons for us but it's been raining for days so i messaged brandon and i said like is it worth it for us to drive in because the last time we showed there after a lot of rain it was during the last show and it made it made ladies shoes get loose and then we decided not to ride her for until we could get our farrier here because we didn't think it would feel nice for her to be like riding with loose shoes. We didn't want to do that, so I asked him and he went and he checked and he said, it's pretty messy there, so we're not gonna ride there today. Which sucks because Sophie has a show. She actually has a show this weekend. And she did get to ride twice this week. So that's good, so Lady's like still, you know, doing okay. Plus Lady ran like a crazy girl yesterday. Hi baby. You want a little bite of my carrot? Yeah, I love her. Like I had never, I never loved her the way I love her now. <coughs> She's just really come into her own and is the sweetest thing. Anyway, so we did made the executive decision. Sophie doesn't know yet. That Sophie's not gonna go to ride tonight. And it sucks because she really needs to. But there's a, but when there's a will, there's a way. Ooh, I almost got my finger, Missy. So the only one left in here that needs a bite of my carrot is little Willow. Gotta be fair. I love her. I love her. I love you all. Let her have a bite. Be nice. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I finished it. Judge him had that butt, though, Gracie. <coughs> You're not gonna miss out on a carrot. Anyway... So the reason I wanted her to have the lesson is because it's like two days, three days before the show. It's a couple days before the show and I wanted her to like have a ride so she feels comfortable. But Brandon said that we can go to the show the day before the show and she can school. He'll be there, it's not at our barn. This show is not at our barn, stop. Why you gotta always be touching me? Oh my gosh being surrounded so i think we're gonna do that so at least she has like her lesson this week it'll be like schooling but she'll be having her lesson at the show ring it'll just help and like i said this whole year has been about this whole season has just been about them getting to know each other and lady like figuring out what sophie wants from her and it's gonna take a long time it's gonna take a long time for them to become a team like a true team Sophie's gonna ride all winter. I'm so excited about that. And I've learned that God has a, a reason for everything. So if we can't have our lesson tonight, then there's a reason for it. And everything happens exactly the way that it's supposed to happen. And I used to like get stressed out. You guys remember, if you remember me, I used to get stressed out when things didn't go my way. Now I'm just like, whatever, whatever God has planned, I'm good for, right? And as long as you guys all get to stay with me, no more horses leaving, right? Because we love you too much. We actually have the opportunity to uh, lease Storm. We have some friends that I know he'd be in great care. They want to take him and use him. But and he would do amazing there. But I'm really, I'm really like, oh. But I really struggle with the whole thing because every single time that we've sent Storm away, so like when we sent Storm to be a lesson horse last a couple of years ago, he did amazing. He was a good boy, but I know <coughs> that moving houses and moving to new farms is really stressful on him. Like I know that it's stressful for all horses, but I noticed that he got so stressed. And then when we brought him home and he was home for a while, last summer we took him to school somewhere at somebody else's house, at somebody else's farm. And when he got off the trailer, he was so panicked, like his, like I can remember him having so much panic in him. Little cuts. Anyway, I remember him being panicked and I just, I don't like the idea of him going to a new farm and having to start fresh and find his place in the herd. Like that's so stressful. And that's like when they are most likely to get hurt. What is on you? So I don't think we're gonna do it. I mean, it'd be cheaper for us not to have him here because he's got shoes on and it, it's expensive, but I'd rather pay and and know that he's not going through a stressful time. Like I don't like them going through a stressful time. And there's my sign right there. These two girls grooming each other. 
loving each other. It makes me see like how much our herd loves one another. They're so happy now, you guys. Ever since we got Lady, they're just so much more balanced. And yesterday when they were running, Lady was so upset <coughs> and she was calling out to Penny, saying, Penny, come and save me. She didn't understand what was happening while Storm was running. I don't know, I just see every day, we see them like grooming each other and taking care of one another and don't eat her hair. What the heck, that's not grooming. <coughs> Yeah, Gracie girl. So soon, all your riders are coming again. She's ridden a few times this summer <laughs> with all my friends' kids, and your real kids are coming. It's almost Thanksgiving. <laughs> You're all so cute. I just love you all. It feels like there's so much of horse ownership that's like a rite of passage. Like when Gabby wanted to lease storm out Sam and I didn't and through that process we learned that that's not what we like like we like having them here being able to keep them safe and and knowing what what they're going through like it's so much better like now that we learned that the mud pulled her shoes or loosened her shoes to the point we couldn't ride her it's not worth it especially a couple days before a show hi lady girl hi lady luck this is my girl you're really cute. Isn't she so cute? Hi, baby. I love birds. I love them. We're going to lessons? No, because the arena is all muddy from a. Yeah. It's not worth it because. See, that's why you need a grass arena. I know. Our, our grass arena is good. It's a bit slippery, though. Not worth it, though, to pull her shoes. I know, so just not worth it. You guys, the craziest thing happened today. It was so funny. <laughs> so my sister, remember, remember a couple weeks ago when we had like that big fire and my sister was here and the next day I said she left her, her cooler and that she brought her pop in. And then I said, she said she was gonna come and get it. Well, today she stopped by to get it. And two of my sisters were together. One was the animal control officer and then one was just another sister. So the animal control officer knows animals like so much. Like she knows every animal. She knows what, like she's an animal expert in every way. So anyways, <coughs> they pulled in. They didn't tell me that they were coming. I love my turkeys. So they didn't tell me they were coming. They just messaged me when they got here. So when they got here, they <coughs> came outside and all of our chickens just ganged up on them, just like ran to them. And my sister, who's the animal control officer, loves animals and she was like so excited because she loves turkey, she loves all animals, she hates guineas. And <coughs> by the time I come out, came out, she said, holy heck, what did you do to these animals? Like, she said she's never met a friendly guinea in her whole entire life, ever, not even one single time. And I said, I know, it's like so crazy. It's so crazy, like, and then I got an apple and, <coughs> and I showed her how the guineas eat out of my hands. Like the turkeys, the guineas, and a few of the chickens eat out of my hand. Whoa, <laughs> what are you doing? Don't even think about it today. Today I've had a baby go <coughs> on my head and I almost just had a turkey on my head. That's what happens when you live at my house. But anyway, it just makes me really proud because our animals are so friendly are so friendly and you only get that way by being loved and cared for and having all your needs met. And it just makes me proud that they know that they're safe here and that they can go beyond just being safe and then also feeling loved. Like it just makes me happy. Anyway, they were impressed and it takes a lot to impress my sister because she's had every animal you could ever imagine and she's like me, she loves every animal. And, but she is honestly like a pro. Oh no, the turkey is chasing the dog. Oh no. <laughs> Molly went down there with her pylon. She's under that chair there. And the turkey, he's so quiet, but so protective. He ran as fast as he could so that he could be in front between Molly and all the chickens to keep them safe. But anyway, I also wanted to tell you guys, um, last night somebody came to our door and it was this man. Uh, I am always like a bit leery about men who come to your door when you live in the country. Like, I feel like it's not so common anymore. And anyway, so Sam went outside to talk to the guy and I was thinking like, what the heck is he doing? Like, why is he, like, who is he? 
so I was watching him out the window and he was talking to Sam and he was looking up at the roof and then he was like turning around really fast and looking behind him and he was looking at Sam and looking over the roof and then he would like turn behind him and I was watching him out the window I was like what the heck is wrong with him and I looked like where he was looking <coughs> And all the turkeys and the guineas and the three chickens <laughs> were like coming up slowly behind him. He was probably having a heart attack. Did he say anything? No, he just said <coughs> the chickens and all that were coming up to him. Oh, really? Yeah. Anyway, if I, before we had a farm, this is like the kind of place that I'd be so excited to take my kids and just be like, walk into their yard and be, and be overwhelmed with amazing loving animals it just i don't know makes me so happy anyway sam and i are sitting out here waiting for the girls to get back get sylvia is taking this opportunity where she's not going to riding to uh, do some baking she's been wanting to do some baking so they went to the store to get all the supplies she's gonna make cheesy bread or something i have garlic powder what are you making um i'm gonna defend myself against the vampires <laughs> Yeah. Another adorable thing that their chickens did when my sisters were here is that the sun came out, like it finally has been sunny today. The sun came out and they all laid down to sunbathe and they literally came up to my feet and laid like two feet from me and sunbathed right in front of me. Like, they're just so loving. It's going to change over winter. I almost caught a guinea. Did you? Yeah, I jumped at it. Oh. If it didn't have wings, it wouldn't have gone away. I'm doing my before we put them into bed check. My, this is probably my third check of the day and not a single horse is here. Here they come, or at least Gracie. Oh, she stopped. We don't want you. We're just checking on everybody. Oh, we don't want them? No, we don't want them. Go back, it's muddy. You are looking, yeah, pregnant. Soon you guys are gonna have to start going in your stalls at night. <coughs> I wanted to show Gabby something on you. There's something on his neck. It feels like a, a prickle is in his neck. Can you look at it? Is it a bug bite? No, it uh -oh. feels like a We're prickle. We're in trouble now. Honey's coming. Yeah, feel it. Stay. He's what like, don't it? touch it. <laughs> Mom, look at honey. <laughs> Wait for me, she says. I have so much faith in my horses to stop before they hit me. She doesn't stop before she gets to me. She stops before she gets to can me. You, can you pull it out? I'm not moving, so. You want me to hold your phone? Yeah. You think it's just a scab? It's like a, something sharp, like a prickle. Like you know how you get prickles in the field? That's a scab. We're taking inventory. I know, we treated it. Yeah. We put raw honey on that baby. Look at her tail. I don't know how you guys get hurt in the field. Look at her. She's oh. She found burns. Oh no. Yeah, that was like quite the scratch, but it's looking really good. It's like, feel my bum, rub my bum. And then I know <coughs> it's because she goes, look at, we need See, to brush them. We're both here and she still chooses me. She loves me too though. She likes me more. I know, so. but I love her. Oh my gosh. Spray the main detangler on it and we'll come right out. Yeah, we have that. We should do that. Strap's actually really sweet for like 0 0.2 seconds um, when he wants to be. See, I know. see how he's being really sweet right now? See those soft eyes? Yeah. Somebody that we know, that new lady before she came home with us, said that her eye has softened up so, so much. And it, I swear, it's because she fits in her herd and she knows what... I just go the muddy way. She knows what we expect of her and... Sylvia, guide me. I can't see She's happy with her girl. Every step every 